Hello, how is everybody doing today? I'm still getting used to this whole video thing, but I've got to push past feeling uncomfortable or awkward and just be in my rhythm and be authentic. This is kind of a way out of my comfort zone thing, but that's pretty much what my whole freaking life is about. Hence my book and sharing things that are extremely personal in it and opening the door to just sharing my life. So I am at my favorite place ever here in Jardina. It's a little restaurant that is called Punto Rojo. It's called, in English that translates to Red Point, I guess. I have always come to this place ever since I started coming here uh, way back in June 2017. And I became friends with uh, who is now I consider my gay husband, Sebas. Um, he is now the owner of this place, which is a very nostalgic thing for both of us because of how our friendship has grown and blossomed and what this place means to me on my journey. And then now that he's the owner of it. so. Um, anyway, I am about to eat my favorite meal. I had been in the States for uh, almost a year, 11 months, um, since the last time I was here. So this is the first time that I am getting to really dig into this delicacy, and I would like to share. So there's the kitchen. That is the best chocolate milk on the freaking planet. And they even put the chocolate mix powder on top. So it's almost like a dessert. And they use whole milk to make it. This is the best chocolate milk in the world. And they call it Milo Frio. So at Highland ain't got nothing on this, baby. This is avocado, two fried eggs, and fried plantains, and a bowl of beans. Um, beans, the way they make them here in this culture. Um, you won't find them anywhere else. Like this region is known for the way they make these beans, right? So I am going to introduce you as well to the sweet lady that is making also another delicacy that is called un buñuelo, okay? Marlene, tengo preguntita. Puedo grabar lo que está haciendo? Okay, I just asked her if it was okay that I recorded what she's doing. So I'd like to saluda. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Quiere contar lo que está haciendo? So she is taking that dough right here and it's very very specific the way that they make this dough the cheese and the salt and the flour everything that they use and I'm going to make a further documentary about what exactly is used to make this and the, sim the, sim the symbolic nature of what it means in this culture this woman I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of buñuelos she has made with her hands she rolls the dough and then she drops it in the fryer and the end product is that. And this is popular to just stop in, it's called stop in and get a coffee. They call it coffee and milk, cafe and leche. And you dip the buñuelo in the coffee and it's a great little snack. There's little spots all over who has buñuelos and it's kind of like a competition about who makes them better. And you have to keep in mind these recipes and the way that they're slightly different in each place. It is so freaking special because generations i mean people's grandmothers and great grandmothers ancestors have taught them and passed down these little differences so it's extremely personal to every single one of these places so it is an honor to share these things with you i'm gonna dig in and eat now um stay tuned thank you for being a part of my journey <laughs> 